Centers for Disease Control reports show as of November 5th, every state except Alaska has had a case of a vaping related illness. Although the CDC says they are learning new things about these deadly cases, News 18's Marvin Bills has more now on what the CDC is now saying. After more than 2,000 cases of vaping associated illnesses in the United States, the CDC says they may know the cause. Now we see a whole variety of lung diseases that, ha that people have presented with with vaping. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, a vitamin E acetate could be the cause for many of the e cigarette related lung injuries. Pulmonary doctor with Franciscan Health, Dr. Abu Jadi, says many of the patients he's seen have used the additive in illegal THC cartridges. Most of the patients that I have seen here have. Actually, all of them have had been their cartridge laced with THC. The CDC says vitamin E acetate isn't harmful when ingested as a supplement or on skin. It's when the acetate is inhaled that problems occur. Vitamin E is a liquid soluble vitamin. Uh, some cartridges that has been mixed with vitamin E liquid has been uh, associated with increased incidence. Chris Myers says he isn't surprised there's been new findings. Vitamin E acetate is a thickening agent that's used um, to thicken the THC so it doesn't run out of the cartomizer or the tank. According to the CDC, vitamin E acid is sticky when inhaled into the lungs. The CDC goes on to say that samples have only been taken from 29 patients in 10 states. There could also be other items that are inside of those illegal cardomizers that are causing issues also. And we won't know until all the testing is done. The CDC said it is still continuing to test for a wide range of chemicals. In Tippecanoe County, Marvin Bills, News 18.